probably three to five weeks? No, it's not probably anymore. Now, Elon Musk's prediction has become more realistic than ever. SpaceX Starbase General Manager just announced the Starship Flight 4 launch date. So when is it? How does the FAA react? Find out everything in today's episode of TechMap. SpaceX's Starship Flight 4 is likely to occur in mid-June. That was the timeline Elon Musk offered in a post on X on May 11, saying Starship's next test flight is probably three to five weeks away. Objective is for the ship to get past max heating, or at least further than last time, the billionaire entrepreneur added. Of course, this isn't the first time the Flight 4 timeline has been revealed, but this time marks a significant change from SpaceX's previous announcement of a May launch date. So, is it worth trusting? It will be difficult to have an absolutely accurate answer, but with many useful updates, I hope it can help you find your own answer. First of all, can't help but mention a Space Talk event on May 14 in Boca Chica, Texas. At the event, Starbase General Manager Kathy Luters spoke to discuss updates on SpaceX in the Rio Grande Valley at Boca Chica Beach. Luters said SpaceX is ready to do its Flight 4 wet dress rehearsal, which should be done in the next week. Yeah, it is completely reasonable. On May 15, after a long time of waiting, Ship 29 was finally stacked onto Booster 11 preparing for the full test campaign. To be honest, B-11 has been sitting on OLM for a few days meanwhile Ship 29 was just back there on the day of 15. We could have seen this full integration sooner if not for some minor hardware modifications. For example, just two days after the static fire test on April 6, B-11 was lifted from the OLM and returned to Mega Bay for flight readiness work, including the installation of a hot staging ring. Ship 29 was transported to the launch site on May 12, but was moved away from the OLM closer to the remains of Test Pad B two days later. This is probably due to an issue with Ship 31 during its testing. But now everything has been done, and we just have the wet dress rehearsal test left. Although Kathy hints to us about a date in May's third week, we have a chance to believe a soon date. Yes, you heard right. There are two consecutive road closure notifications on May 16 and 17 respectively warning the 12-hour test operations. In addition, Starbase's general manager also hopes after Memorial Day weekend they will get their FAA a license to prepare for their next Starship launch. This means that Starship's Flight 4 license is expected the last week of May or possibly early June. Is it feasible? As far as I know, SpaceX has not still yet completed its mishap investigation for Flight 3, which contains some items such as identifying what caused the loss of both stages and the improvements they want to make. Or in the better scenario, at the time this video is released, they would finish and then submit their documents to the national agency immediately. Then it's the FAA turn to inspect all of them and confirm SpaceX took all corrective actions finally granting a modified license. Nevertheless, the investigation's closure does not signal an immediate authorization of the next Starship launch. The total time could be up to several months. Flight 2, for instance, has the licensing process with the FAA's fastest working speed on the Starship project thus far. Following the launch of Flight 2 on November 18, 2023, it took the FAA over three months until February 26, to announce the closure of the Flight 2 mishap investigation. By March 13, it awarded a launch license for Flight 3. It means that the agency took about four months to say, okay, Flight 3 occurred on March 14, and if Luiters' prediction comes true, both investigation and license modification should take both parties less time, around two months, half the time of Flight 2. This means that the mishap report has to be concluded now. However, with the complexity of Flight 3, could they cut down the time? Christian Davenport, the space reporter at the Washington Post, made a stir with his tweet on May 15. I'm told that from the FAA standpoint of issuing the license, this should be feasible. For those who don't know, Christian Davenport covers NASA and the space industry for the Washington Post's financial desk. So, with the statement of a professional reporter at the Washington Post, do you think SpaceX's timeline will get realistic? Say yes if you agree. Anyway, if you find this useful, please give us a share, like, and subscribe. Your support will be a huge motivation for us to release more quality videos in the future. And now let's come back. As the Starship team prepares for the upcoming rocket launch around the clock, activities related to upgrading Starbase components also take place nonstop. In the event, 
Kathy Luders touched on the revolution in the so-called Mars Gateway. Most notably, the Gigafactory serving Starship mass production next year has almost reached its final stage. Through the video, you can see clearly that the glass facade on the top row of the road facing side of the Star Factory is finished. These signs indicate that the building should go online by the end of this year, at least according to Kathy. Apparently, we have more than one important infrastructure in Starbase. She says 3,000 people work at the end of Highway 4 every day, which has created a need for more of a community in the area. We are getting ready to put out our next economic impact report in the next few weeks, Lewitter said when talking about the need for growth on Highway 4, now that more families are becoming involved with the production at Starbase. SpaceX has made more than $3 billion in direct investments in Starbase infrastructure since 2014 and over $1 billion in annual statewide spending. There's no debate that since it landed here a decade ago, SpaceX has converted this previously untouched stretch of land into a rocket factory, launch site, and company town. And the pace of growth is quickening. Upgraded power lines run alongside a highway pocked with potholes by heavy traffic. A steady stream of vehicles fills the road at all hours. The company is also building a $21 million six-story parking garage at the rocket factory. It is described as a 269,744 square foot six-tier open parking garage. Construction is scheduled to start on February 5 and finish on July 1. Earlier this month, there was a news resource saying that SpaceX is planning to open a $15 million shopping center and restaurant in Brownsville. The start date for the project is March 14, with a completion date listed as December 31. Six and a half miles from the launch pad, an engine test site has risen from the location of the former Massey's gun range. When SpaceX bought the site in 2021, some locals thought the company would keep it as a private place to shoot. Massey's owners have since moved the range closer to Brownsville. At the launch site, SpaceX is beginning construction of a second launch tower. The final standing parts of the old test pad B fell to make space for the upcoming tower. All of the upgrades on Starbase demonstrate Musk's appetite for a real rocket city, a gateway connecting to interplanetary life. The expansion of Starbase serves SpaceX's ultimate mission, which is to extend consciousness to Mars and then the stars. Thanks to that, there will be no more gaslighting about UFOs. Humanity can find the most accurate answer to the 100-year question, are aliens real or not? For SpaceX CEO, humans are late to this party, and apparently there's intelligent life throughout our solar system and universe. As Elon Musk said, if there are super intelligent aliens out there, they're probably already observing us. We just are not smart enough to realize it. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you next time.